Hi, welcome back to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. It's the 1st of July today. Um, so what I um, thought I'd do is do a quick uh, recap of my burst coin uh, mining results for June. So a uh, few people in, in some of my other videos have asked, um, you know, how many burst coin am I mining, how many they think I can kind of mine with, or how many I think they can mine with, with certain amounts of capacity. So I thought I'd just run you through uh, my results for, for June and um, how, I, how I get the figures. So um, you can see here, this is um, the, the my, mining pool that I'm using at the moment. This is pool of death club um, this is my miner here crypto Dave um, if on most of these mining um, uh, mining pools if you actually click on your um, miner name here in the list it'll take you through to um, um, a page on the block Explorer for your address so this is my address here um, and it gives you basically some information about the address so it gives you the address and the numeric account ID and then your balance which is 97,000 at the moment um, total incoming and, and outgoing transactions and, and various other information. Um, now down here you can see all the kind of transactions so this is money coming into the uh, account from mining, um, there's bits that I've, I've sent out to other things to exchanges um, and bits and bobs like that and then on the left you have the forged blocks so you can see this month not a great month compared to the previous one I've only um, actually forged four blocks so one the the last block I forged was actually five days ago. Um, in comparison um, if you look down here to the ones that were um, mined or forged rather a month ago. There's one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. So I think I've forged ten blocks last month. There was slightly less kind of capacity, but that's um, an indication of uh, really that the network is kind of growing and the difficulty is increasing. But um, how I get the figures is um, if you go to the transactions here and you actually click the little icon next to it. Um, it will pop up in one sec so here you go so basically it allows you to open all your transaction history in an XLS file um, so we'll just go ahead and open that let me just drag that into the screen so you can see here now in Excel I have um, this account so this is all the transactions since this account started um, and this was back in what the 5th of April this year um, um, it's date ordered by default. You can see the sender and the recipient. So this is incoming and outgoing um, uh, transactions. The the green ones are incoming. The the red ones are outgoing. And then it tells you here in the type of the the type of payment it is. So these are ordinary payments. Um, and then there's reward recipient assignment. So this is when you actually um, sort of basically um, uh, assign the pool. Um, a recipient um, address, burst coin address, when you're switching to a new pool. And you can see here, this is something I'll talk about in a sec, but you can see if we just go back towards the beginning of June here, um, what's that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's ten times this month I've, um, was it, ten or eleven times, I've actually changed the reward assignment. And this is because um, pools have been going down for several hours at a time so I'm having to switch to kind of different pools and then maybe the original pool will kind of come back and uh, and I'll switch back to it but this is basically the, the best way to that I found to do it so um, you can grab all your transactions and then basically what I do is I, I, I delete all the, the ones that aren't relevant I'll delete everything that's not in the date range I'm looking for and then I can sort by um, the sender and then I can um, sort of delete any that I'm sending maybe to exchanges or, or anything like that and, and be left with a list of just the amounts that have come in from mining so that's how I do it and I won't go through it here because it you know it takes 10 minutes 15 minutes something like that but um, basically the upshot was this month or sorry not this month last month in June 2017 I mined 9,030 uh, burst so um, another thing people are, are asking me so um, I'll put all the figures below so in April I mined just over 7,000 in May I mined just under 19,000 and then June 9,000 so it was about half the amount that I, I mined the, the month before but that's really just due, due to the difficulty increase on the network there's so m much more capacity on the network so you know you're, I'm hitting less blocks and therefore getting uh, less reward so um, the other thing people ask me often is um, is the calculator accurate so if we go to the calculator here I can put in basically my mining information then we can compare that to what I actually made last month um, so if you go to the calculator the only thing you need to do is put in your total plot size so mine was 38.4 um, and that's terabytes um, so it's saying or it's predicting I'll make 361 bursts a day 
which is um, 10,845 burst a month. Um, so if we put that figure in here, 10,845 burst a month, um, it's predicting I'll make $177. Um, now I actually made 9,030, so I've made at the current price, uh, last month I made about 100, just shy of $150. Uh, dollars. Um, so the calculator at the moment is um, is pretty accurate. Um, you know, from from looking at this, I did, as I mentioned, I did have some downtime. So I reckon probably over the whole month, I probably lost somewhere in the region of three days worth of kind of mining with a mixture of pools being down, um, and also um, my machine that I, I mine burst coin on. Um, I have a lot of other things running on it, so I have nice hash running on it. And this month, I'd also had. Um, the Stratus wallet and the PIVX wallet which were both staking and, and I think I'm not quite sure why but um, the PIVX wallet seems to disagree with my machines um, somehow and it um, what I'd find is often I'd, I'd wake up in the morning and the machine had kind of crashed or, or frozen kind of overnight so um, hopefully this month forward I, I've stopped um, staking PIVX now on that machine and um, it seems to be a lot more reliable now um, but that's um, basically um, what I wanted to talk to you about. The only other thing very quickly, so the reason my um, capacity has gone down from sort of just over 42 terabytes to 38 is that I took one drive out of the uh, burst coin in um, array and I basically I did a video where I set up um, storage coin. Uh, I'm also using it to back up these YouTube videos and bits and bobs like that but I did a video on storage coin and the initial um, the initial few days it didn't really do anything so it sat there and I had I'd shared somewhere in the region of sort of 83 uh, kilobytes but um a new version this is just the storage very quickly of the software here um this um sorry not this morning um an hour or just over an hour ago you can see here it's big, the uptime's an hour and 19 minutes but they they launched a new version of the software which I just updated it um and it seems um, a lot better so I'm up to one gigabyte shared and this is only really in the last kind of hour or so um, that it's gone up it was on about you know literally just a hundred kilobytes before so it, it seems to be doing stuff now uh, I'm connected to plenty of peers and there's there's contracts on the account now so um, I don't know whether it will be be good or not but I, I thought I'd just kind of mention that but in future months what I'll do is um, I'll uh, I'll run over my um, storage and SIA um, earnings as well within the, the burst coin um, roundup. So a lot of people are asking me, you know, would I be better um, leasing the, or sort of renting my hard drive space on, on storage or SIA rather than um, mining burst coin? I think at the moment, you know, the answer's got to be no. Burst coin mine is far more profitable. But um, it's always nice to look at other things. So um, I've set them up and I'll, I'll let you know how they go in the next um, month or so. Um, but that's it for now. Um, uh, in the next couple of days I will be um, doing another video with um, a complete roundup of both my mining and investment portfolios um, so that's not just the burst coin mining stuff but this is um, um, I've got an investment portfolio and I've got a mining portfolio where I, I mine other stuff so this will be the results from um, mining um, Bitcoin which are a uh, bit of digibyte and various other things so um, look um, out for that in the next few days but um, until then um, I hope uh, to see you on the next video if you like this um, please subscribe to the channel uh, leave me a comment with any kind of questions below um, but I uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video okay have a good day thanks very much bye bye